Hi, my name is Hugh McKenna. This week we're gonna be going over some boxing techniques that are gonna increase your, your power and your punches. So power and punches comes from having your body behind it and having good sound mechanics and form when you punch, but it also comes from being in the proper range for your punches. Now you'll hear, hear a lot of boxing instructors and kickboxing instructors to tell you to punch through your opponent's head in order to inflict the most damage. That you're not trying to hit the surface of their face, you're trying to hit them in the back of the head. And this is good sound advice and it will increase your punching power but there's a reason that it's going to increase your punching power and that's physics if so, i were to aim just for the surface of the bag and not the other side of the bag i'm going to impart a lot less power than i would if i were trying to punch through all the way to the other side and the reason for that is if i get in the proper range to hit just the surface of the bag or even slightly beneath it my arm is going to be at full extension when i hit this bag so your punch accelerates as it comes out from your stance and it reaches a terminal velocity right about here where your arm is not fully locked out. You have a slight bend in your arm because your body is smart and it knows if it continues to accelerate through the entire motion, when you get to that full end range of extension here in your arm, you're gonna damage some of your ligaments and tendons here if you continue to accelerate all the way to here. So your body does what it needs to do, and from here to here, from slightly bent to fully extended, it actually decelerates your arm. So force equals mass times acceleration. You're not gonna change your mass while you're punching, okay? If you have good form and you have your whole body weight behind your punch and you're using your legs, your mass is gonna be at its peak. So the only thing that you can change is the acceleration in order to alter the amount of force that's applied, okay? so. If I'm decelerating from here to here, if I hit at the end of my range right here, I'm gonna decelerate a little bit and I'm gonna inadvertently decrease the amount of force that go enters my opponent. So the reason why aiming for the back of their head with your fist or your leg, whatever you're trying to hit them with, imparts more force is because if I'm trying to hit them at full extension in the back here, right? If I pull my hand to the surface of where I would make impact if I was actually aiming for the back, as you can see, I'm landing with a bent arm, okay? I'm landing right at the point that my arm reached its highest acceleration before it starts decelerating. Therefore, the amount of force that I'm gonna give to my opponent is at its maximum because my mass isn't gonna change and my acceleration isn't gonna go any higher. It's only gonna go lower if I fully extend. So. When they tell you that you need to punch through your opponent, you inadvertently get into the range where if you made impact on the surface, your arm is gonna be slightly bent at its maximum acceleration, okay? And you can see the, the difference when you hit the back. So I'm gonna hit it when I'm aiming for the surface and I'm gonna hit it when I'm aiming for the back. Okay, so if I'm here, I'm aiming for the surface. That's pretty hard, it would hurt, but you might not knock your opponent out. Now, I'm gonna aim for the back. Right? So at full extension, I'm hitting the back here, right? Now, when I hit, you can see it, it imparts a lot more force in, into the back, okay? So, so find that your punching power is lacking a little bit and you wanna improve that, maybe you have to take a half step in and improve your range so that when you land that strike on the surface of their, of their body, your arm is at its maximum acceleration and not in this little area right here where it starts to decelerate and you lose a little bit of the force that you're gonna apply. So next so, time you're hitting a bag, give this one a try. You know, if you like your sparring partner, maybe not give this a try because it's gonna in increase your punching power and you, you might end up hurting them. But in a fight, go nuts. So give this technique a try. Let me know in the comments if you do end up increasing your punching power. I'd love to hear some, some feedback from you. Also, please like this video if you haven't already and share it if you can. That would be very helpful for my page. Also, subscribe to my page. That way you don't miss out on the weekly videos coming out.